You have a segment in your population, and I believe in rights for all. So if, if you have a segment of your population that has chose to live a gay lifestyle, lesbian lifestyle, that's their right. And they should have rights. So you need to define something for them that would give them certain rights that are afforded within the context of marriage. Create civil union, but don't So, so you don't are for, redefine, for civil union? Right. Don't redefine marriage. Okay. We're here to say don't redefine marriage. I personally, as a minister, I say, have civil unions. Okay. Give people rights. That's All not right. right. We've lost five states in this in this union so far. And Washington is a few weeks away. You know, there's, there's five states we look on. Yeah, you know, lost in regards to they've legislated a same-sex marriage. I say that's a loss because now you're encroaching on the religious freedom of a group of faith. And if you look at historically this state, this state is very evangelical and Catholic. So you're encroaching on all of our, our rights. I continue to say that it is not God's perfect purpose for uh, a man and a man to be together. Right. Okay, that's my conviction. Absolutely, you know? yeah. But nevertheless, you're welcome in my church. Yeah. I noticed there's a lot of signs that say, like, Sodom and Gomorrah and yeah. stuff like that. That's very no, negative. You, is that you not? don't see this sign here. Okay, so that's okay. not part this of what This is you're not doing. the sign. You're not a uh, protest against gays. Why don't you have us say that we're, you're for no. civil unions that on the signs or something? If you go to the and say, sir, I spoke to someone that your sign is wrong, that's it. Go by there, I give you that authority to go by there. Hey, hey. I love your verse, God bless you. I'm Dan, nice to meet you. Have a good Sunday. God bless you, Jesus loves you. God bless you, God bless you. thank you. Right now I'm an advocate, I'm a fighter for all the people that are discriminating against. Are you trying to get a good Short word for unemployed, yeah. <laughs> Long-winded way of saying I don't have a job. Well, I've written an open letter to him, uh, to every member of Congress. I actually got to shake hands with the highest-ranking military man in America, the Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mullen, uh, a couple days ago. I was at the congressional hearing. Very boring hearing. You know, very. You know, they didn't talk about Don't Ask, Don't Tell. They're sort of in the closet about it themselves. But uh, I got to shake his hand and tell him, you know, I'm getting kicked out under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. It's an honor to meet you. And he said, uh, yeah, I've been reading the news. I've sort of heard about you. So <laughs> it was interesting to see that my leaders are actually paying attention and um, that they're listening. Uh, and it's all a matter of telling them, and then they'll listen. So this whole don't ask, don't tell, that's a bygone era. We have to tell. You know, we have to ask. We have to be out there. We have to stand up, and they will listen. And we're going to get into a dialogue and make America better. I want to serve, and I portrayed that to I mean, I, I told them. I want to serve, I want to continue being in the army and in the military, and I understand if the, um, the law is going to force me out, and I understand if I have to get kicked out, but once the law gets repealed, I'll be the first one in the recruiting station. Are you optimistic about that happening soon? Of course, or Americans you know? want to do the right thing. They see that we're in a time of war. It doesn't take them too long to realize that um, what they're doing to our soldiers, yeah. putting them through not only lying and hiding, but basically being in the closet, which as you know, I can tell them personally, I tell everybody personally, including all my commanders and my, my leaders in government and my friends and my family, I tell everybody, being in the closet is the most toxic poison. It is a disease, it cripples. And why would you force that on our soldiers that have a hard enough time as <laughs> yeah. it is? Yeah, how is this been free for you? <laughs> yeah, I love Pretty eye opening, no, definitely. <laughs> I think, I mean, one of the reasons I fell in love with Dan was simply because, you know, who he is and his, his heart and his yeah. sincerity and the genuineness, it just comes out just in speaking to you right, right now. Right, yeah, absolutely. And uh, definitely when I told him, you know, that I loved him and he could be vulnerable right. and, and I would continue to love him, I didn't realize he was going to take it <laughs> to the world stage. Right. Well, we but should I think never hide love. But I think that's yeah. great. I've never necessarily been an activist before, but, you know, Dan's... You know, so you're you that, definitely, exactly. 
Be careful what you wish for. Right. You just might get <laughs> well, it's but. great. Thank you for everything that you're doing. And it's an honor to be you. And Likewise. A pleasure. Good luck. I Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for everything you're doing, really. And also, you're a beautiful couple. <laughs> <laughs> Insanely like gorgeous couple. Can I get an illegal kiss here? Yeah. Yay! Homosexual conduct. Yeah, not <laughs>